This video is made possible by EA Game Changers. Thank you, EA. Hello everybody and welcome to Arson Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I thank you for joining me as I do a speed build in San Myshuno. I thought it was only fitting since I am doing this speed build based mostly on the Sims 4 Mashino <laughs> stuff pack. Myshuno, Mashino. I can't say either of them right, so they're a perfect pairing. If you've been around my channel, you know me in words. We struggle. We struggle a lot. But anyway, what I wanted to do is this build and kind of focus on the assets that we were given for the Machino stuff pack. There's not a lot of build by items, but what there are really lend themselves to like a loft style kind of build. And I could have just done one loft. I could have just done it on the top of an apartment building. But what I wanted to do is use a lot that I've never built on before. One is the, the previous Sky Fitness that came in the City Living Pack. And I wanted to build a tiny house, but then I got on the lot and I'm like, this lot is too big for one tiny house so why not make two tiny houses and the idea is that these are work and live spaces so the first floor is the quote-unquote tiny house you come in the front door you can go then directly up the stairs if you're here for business or if you live there or you're here for personal reasons you can come through the second front door which will then take you into the living space and it's a one bedroom one bath living space little kitchenette little eating area a little relaxing area and I kind of envision this as like if you were to live in San Francisco or something and you decided to rent out an office space and you really couldn't afford to pay both rent for your office space and your living space, then perhaps you might reconfigure that space to be part residential, part commercial and that was kind of the idea behind this like I was envisioning that these people that own these photography studios might be a little strapped for cash or maybe they have a home in the suburbs and they just want to be able to crash uh, if they've had a long day working because you know photographers and artists they work long 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 hours and sometimes it might not be convenient to get on the boat or the train and you know, commute home. So the idea, that that was kind of how the idea came to me. But anyway, the other thing I was thinking is they don't have to always stay photography studios. One building can be a photography studio. The other could be a painter's studio. Uh, the idea could be anything, but I definitely wanted a, a clear delineation between work and living and since it is based on the Machino stuff pack, I wanted to take advantage of using all the glorious photography tools that we were given, the backdrops and the furniture and just the windows. I mean, the windows are just amazing. I apologize in advance if all my builds going forward use these windows because they're so gorgeous and they're big and you can configure them in a multitude of ways. but. I digress. Anyway, I I really like the Machino stuff pack. I was surprised by how much I like it. The fashions are not my cup of tea. Not something I'll use probably very often. However, the other things in the pack, the photography skill, or not skill, but the photography career that you can do as a freelancer, all of the backdrops, the tripods, the lighting, the cameras, the ability to do poses without needing custom content, the ability to pose multiple sims together, all of that adds up to a $10 stuff pack that I am happy to have my hands on. And even if I had not been given this pack by EA, I would buy it in a heartbeat. And I would recommend that you guys buy it if you like the ability to 
take pictures of your sims take pictures now of your sims out in the world which is another thing you can do which is why if you notice the backyard I cut out that section of the wall I still wanted it to be safe so the sims didn't fall over the edge of the world but I also wanted it to be an area where they could take that tripod they could go outside and they could pose people there and get some really fabulous simstagram photos I mean because the location and the view are to die for on this lot. And I will show that to you at the end of the video. I, I just took a shot of what you're seeing. And much like San Francisco, it's a little foggy. There's a little bit of a, a denseness to the sky. So can, I can only imagine how gorgeous this view would be on a clear day. And uh, I just real quick want to talk about the build because you see I'm placing those frames. Those are the digital photo frames that came in the Machino pack. And they're really kind of cool because you can take a zillion pictures of your Sims, load those frames up, and it, as in real life, they will just cycle through and you can set the timers to an hour, two hours, three hours, however many Sim hours you want it to be before the photograph changes. And that can help cut down a little bit on the clutter of photographs that we are all sure to have after getting our hands in this pack. If you watched my video from yesterday where I built my first photography studio, you'll see that I quickly loaded up the walls with a zillion pictures and they take up a lot of space even if you do them in small or medium. And I, you know, I figure in a loft or a tiny house area like the living quarters, that would not be something that would be good for that area. However, if a photographer lives there, they're going to want to show off their photographs. So the digital frames are a great way to do that. I did leave the walls empty up in the loft area, envisioning that the photographer would take some stellar shots and want to put them on the wall and show them off to future clients. And so that is why I did very little of anything on the walls that were not kind of work related. And I also spent a little time kind of playing with how I could configure the furniture that was given to us in the Machino pack. Uh, you'll see that if you use a little coffee table and you use the couch and the chair, you can kind of find different ways to configure them, make them feel more sectional, make them feel, I kind of get the vibe of like, being in an office, being in a professional space where, you know, there might be benches with seating and then a table and then a couple seats. And then, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to do it in some different configurations. But anyway, that is the sum of this build. Here I am just doing some fly throughs. There's a little hint at that view. I mean, it's gorgeous. Who wouldn't want to work in a setting like that? It would definitely get my juices flowing. That's all I'm going to say. And then here's a little fly through of the little tiny house. I didn't take you into the bedroom. Bedroom's very basic. Bed, dresser, and then the bathroom is outfitted with everything you need, as you saw in the build. And of course, there is that spectacular view. If you ask me, it is just to die for. And that's what would happen if you jumped over the wall. So that's why the wall exists, as you see in this photograph. <laughs> and here's the front side. Plenty of parking for your clients and for your sim to live there. And of course, there are commercial signs for each respective studio. And each studio has like its own kind of style, should I say. So one is feels more like a photo studio where you would come in and do like senior portraits, things like that. And then I, I felt like the black and white studio was more of like a professional studio where you would come in for fashion shoots, for magazines, and for maybe advertisements, maybe some video shooting going on there as well. But this little red and white one I felt was kind of more a little bit along the low key. Like mom and dad might bring the kids in and do a family photo shoot there. And yeah, so that was kind of, you know, in my mind, I always play out like who's using these bits and pieces. And I felt like the black and white side is a little bit more 
serious, a little bit more professional, both in their living area and their work area, whereas the red and white side was a little bit more playful, a little younger, maybe a little bit of a younger photographer lives there, maybe someone up and coming, a little hipper, a little cooler. You know, I mean, you just got to use your imagination. You can put whatever kind of sim you want in it. This is up in the gallery for you to download uh, under the name of uh, Capture This Studio Lofts. You can also look for hashtag Arson Girl Gaming. It should come up in there. So if you want to download it, it's ready and waiting for you. And you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. And of course, if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more, I have more Sims 4, more Sims Mobile, and lots of other good stuff coming. So you won't want to miss out. Go ahead and subscribe. Once you subscribe, if you ring the bell, that lets YouTube know you like notifications when I post something new on the channel. That way you don't miss out on anything coming. And like I said, I have lots more plans. So I promise you, you won't want to miss out on any of it. And of course, until next time, you guys, have a great one.